So all that money from the slave trade, where did it end up? One place it ended up was Lloyd's of London, who were kind enough to let me in and show me round. It sounds extremely boring, but Lloyd's is a huge insurance market. They've insured everything here. Michael Jackson concerts, the Titanic, the Twin Towers, and historically, a lot of slave ships. Now this is something Lloyd's is very open about, they don't try and hide it. So for example, this is John Julius Angustine, who was one of the founders. He didn't just make money through insuring slave ships, he also was the trustee for a slave plantation. Next to the portrait is these documents you can take away, which lists every enslaved person who was recorded on the plantation in 1816. It is so rare for enslaved people's names to survive, so this is a fantastic resource. Um, they're sorted by men, women, and horrifyingly, children. The booklet also lists some of the reparations they're doing, which is cool, although I do think it could go further. Honestly, it's pretty refreshing when you see institutions that actually acknowledge this stuff. 